Welcome to this edition of On the Road to the Moon. Imagine, you're 50 million miles away from Earth and months away from Mars, and you need a part or a tool. What do you do? Wouldn't it be great to just print what you need? The technology to do that is here, and it's called additive manufacturing. L3 Harris is already incorporating additive manufacturing or 3D printing into our engines to improve schedules and costs. So let's get into it. So how many parts do you actually print for the Artemis missions? So for Artemis, we print about 30 for RS-25, uh, four for the Orion main engine, and then three for the Orion crew capsules. And why additive? Additive manufacturing is an advanced technology that allows us to print all kinds of different complex geometries, including things like injectors and heat exchangers. Like these? Yes, and these parts as well. These are also for RS-25. Uh, and these parts are a good example of getting good cost and schedule reduction as well. So traditional manufacturing used to take approximately three years and 140 or so welds. Uh, with additive manufacturing, we're down to about 11 months and we've reduced the number of welds by about 97%. From three years to 11 months? That is correct, three years to 11 months. Oh, 3D printing is being used on dozens of parts to help launch our astronauts on their mission to the moon and on to Mars. We have designed, built, and tested metal parts that seem like science fiction. So. Keep your rockets fueled and your dreams soaring, and I'll see you next time on the road to the moon.